Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal begin talk over a new contract for Rhys Nelson. Rhys Nelson is set to be offered a new contract by Arsenal with his current deal at the Emirates set to expire at the end of June. Nelson has made 11 appearances in all competitions for the Gunners this season, scoring three times with one of those goals coming in Arsenal's dramatic 3-2 league win over Bournemouth at the start of March. Fabrizio Romano has reported that Arsenal is keen to keep Nelson at the club who has been part of the club's first team for six years, making 59 appearances in that time. The winger spent two seasons out on loan from 2018 to 2022 with Hovenheim and Feyenoord, for whom he scored a combined 11 goals, so his time abroad will have certainly boosted Mikel Arteta's trust in him. The Mirror have reported in the last month that Nice have shown an interest in Nelson, but it looks like they will miss out on the 23-year-old with this news of Arsenal's desire to keep their player. Rob Holding now in line to start again for Arsenal against Liverpool on Sunday. Rob Holding now looks set to start for Arsenal against Liverpool on Sunday, with William Saliba still not guaranteed to be fit. That's according to the Evening Standard, who provide the latest details on the Frenchman's injury. Arsenal and Mikel Arteta have been very fortunate with injuries in defence this season. Aside from Zinchenko missing several games, his first choice back line have been incredibly consistent. Ben White's conversation to right back and William Saliba's introduction to the team after three long spells have been a huge success for Arteta. No one could have predicted that both would make such an impact this season. Saliba was injured in Arsenal's Europa League defeat to Sporting three weeks ago and has featured since. He wasn't even on the bench against Leeds and Arsenal are planning to be very careful with his recovery. It means another Arsenal start for Rob Holding, who has played the last two league games. The report from the Evening Standard states that Arsenal will make a final decision on Saliba closer to Sunday's game, but Rob Holding is in line to start in his place again. It's good news for the 27-year-old who has performed well in Saliba's absence. He was described as absolutely fantastic by Kevin Campbell after his performance against Leeds. He's barely featured from the start this season for Arsenal, but Arteta is still a big fan of Holding. The Spaniard is reportedly reluctant to sell Holding in the summer, even if there is interest in the centre-back. Austin Trust reveals how he picked Arsenal over Leeds United. Arsenal footballer Austin Trusty has revealed that he was going to sign for Leeds United until the Gunners swooped in in January 2022. The defender who has one international cap for the USA is currently on loan at the championship side Birmingham City. Current teammate George Friend praised his season so far as he told the Birmingham Mail. I think Trusty has been incredible. In his 38 appearances this season, Trusty has managed to not just be a good defender, but a good threat in attack, as well as he managed four goals and two assists. He will return to Premier League side Arsenal once his current loan deal expires in the summer of 2023. We know that there is always various clubs from the same division battling for similar players, so it's not shock to see this is what happened with the Trusty. Speaking on Troy Deeney's podcast via the Birmingham Mail, Trusty said, I was actually going to Leeds, then Arsenal came in the picture, and I just basically said, make this happen. I let my agent do all that kind of stuff, and I just focused on football, because what I was doing in Colorado was attracting the attention of the likes of Arsenal. Sooner or later, I ended up signing with them. No doubt Arsenal definitely have the pull over Leeds United. Despite this, the player may have been more likely to play more football at the club he initially signed for if he went to Leeds. With the Gunners now title challengers, Trusty will have to improve even more to show Mikel Arteta that he deserves a spot in his squad. Only time will tell us if Trusty 
made the right decision in the end. For now, he is clearly enjoying his time playing consistent football at Birmingham. Arsenal and Chelsea transfer target Ahmad Onana's asking price set at 55 to 60 million pound. Everton midfielder Ahmad Onana could be allowed to seal a transfer away from the club this summer if the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea offer something in the region of 55 to 60 million pound. The Belgium international looks a hugely impressive young talent after a strong debut season in the Premier League and Fabrizio Romano has discussed his future in his exclusive daily briefing for Cout of Sight today. Onana was supposedly the subject of interest from Chelsea in January, though Romano is not yet sure if he will still be a priority for the Blues in the summer. While he also suggested Arsenal currently look like having different priorities in the transfer market, still, it seems a deal is there to be done for the right price, with top clubs surely set to be tempted by the prospect of signing the talented 21-year-old for just 50 to 60 million pound, which could end up being a bargain in the long run, Romano said. Everton midfielder Ahmad Onana is attracting interest again as some fans ask me about reports mentioning both Chelsea and Arsenal. He was on Chelsea's list in January, but I am not sure yet if it's something concrete for them in the summer. Arsenal have different names in the list at this stage. I think his price tag would be close to £60 million. Arsenal open talks to sign Yuri Tielemans. Arsenal are reportedly looking to sign the Leicester City midfielder Yuri Tielemans at the end of the season. The 25-year-old Belgian international will be a free agent in the summer, and Leicester have not managed to agree on a contract extension with him yet. A report from Football Insider claims that Arsenal have now open talks with the 25-year-old, and it remains to be seen whether they can convince him to join the North London club on a free transfer. Arsenal will face competition from clubs like Newcastle United and Barcelona. Newcastle have been overly reliant on Bruno Guimaraes for creativity and control this season, and Eddie Howe needs to add more depth to his side. The elements could be the ideal partner for the Brazilian next season. Apparently, the 25-year-old is demanding premium wages, and it remains to be seen whether the Gunners are prepared to pay up for him. Tielemans has established himself as a reliable Premier League midfielder, and he could prove to be a quality acquisition for Arsenal, especially on a free transfer. The Belgian is likely to improve further with the coaching and experience, and the move could look like a bargain in the long run. Arsenal will have to add more depth to their midfield, especially when they are competing in the Champions League next season. They need a player who can control the tempo of the game and break the lines with his long passing. The element certainly fits the profile and he could improve the Gunners immensely. The 25-year-old is already well settled in English football and he could make an immediate impact at Emirates next season. Sasha Bowie decides which club he wants to join, Arsenal or Milan. Arsenal have been heavily linked with a move to sign Galatasaray's French right-back, Sasha Bowie, in recent weeks, and the defender has apparently made his decision now. Mikel Arteta is expected to be on the market for a new fullback this summer. The Gunners tried to sign Ivan Fresneda in January, but no move materialized then. Many expected the Spaniard to be an option again this summer, but he won't be the only one. Galatasaray's Bowie is also reportedly on Arsenal's radar. Multiple reports over the last month have claimed that Arsenal want to sign Bowie this summer. It was reported two weeks ago that the 22-year-old French right-back is the Gunners' priority target for the upcoming summer transfer window. Bowie is expected to be a wanted man this summer, with TMW claiming that half of Europe are monitoring his situation. Arsenal, however, reportedly want to sign him more than any other club. Turkish outlet Aksam now reports that Bowie has made his decision. He wants to leave Galatasaray this summer and prefers a move to sign for Arsenal rather than Italian giants AC Milan. The report claims Galatasaray are prepared to let him go 
but not for anything less than 13 million pound. Arsenal have been the best team in the Premier League this season, but that will not stop them from strengthening their squad in the summer transfer window. Central midfield will be their priority, and Edo is expected to bring in at least one new player there, if not two. A new forward may also be on the agenda, as the Gunners will need a top quality attack to fare well in the Champions League. Although it isn't as much of a priority, it won't be a surprise at all to see Arsenal bring in a talented right back to provide competition for Ben White and Takahiro Tomiyasu. Bowie, who is still only 22, could well be the one. Arsenal ready to make offer for Ibrahim Diaz this summer. Sport Media Set have reported that Premier League leaders Arsenal are ready to make an offer for attacking star Brahim Diaz. The publication also revealed that AC Milan, who currently have him on a two-year loan deal, want to make the move permanent. The Serie A side are hoping to spend around 19 to 23 million pound for the attacking midfielder. Arsenal are willing to invest around 26 million pound for him. Despite Arsenal willing to spend more, they might lose out as Diaz is happy at Milan. He is also willing to try and get parent club Real Madrid to lower the price for the Italian club. Although Milan currently have the advantage, they could easily miss out on a Champions League qualification next season. Whilst Arsenal will not, this could possibly sway Diaz. Mikel Arteta's Arsenal side have mounted a brilliant title challenge this season. This is something no football fans expected. Due to this, next season, there will be added pressure. This combined, this combined with the Champions League football means they need to improve their squad. Diaz would be a great asset. The Spaniard is only 23, but has an abundance of experience across Italy, Spain and England for top teams. Playing for Manchester City, Real Madrid and AC Milan shows that he has the potential to be a good player. He has managed 28 goals and 14 assists throughout his career so far. AC Milan boss Stefano Pioli helped praise on Diaz recently. He said, he is a great player with enormous qualities and very useful for the way we play. The Gunners already have a crop of young talent and Diaz would be another one that they could add to the list. If they want to consistently compete at the top, they need to think about the long term, and Diaz would help them with their project. Arsenal could move for Rafinha this summer. Arsenal are open to a move for Barcelona winger Rafinha this summer. Also, it's currently unclear if they are willing to sell him. That's according to journalist Dean Jones who spoke about the Brazilian to give me sport. Arsenal will already be looking ahead to the summer transfer window with a Champions League campaign to plan for. After several years away, Mikel Arteta will be aware that he needs to improve the overall quality of his squad. The signing of Leandro Trossard has certainly done that in January, with the Belgian hitting the ground running. His versatility will certainly be important, but Arteta may want another high-quality right-winger in the squad. If that's the case, then Barcelona forward Rafinha certainly fits the bill of what Arsenal are looking for. The Gunners were keen on signing him last summer, but he ended up moving to the La Liga in a £55 million deal. However, Arsenal haven't given up on signing the 26-year-old just yet. Speaking to Give Me Sport, Jones relied Arsenal's stance on the Brazil international. Arsenal are moving on and looking at other players for that position. I am sure they would still be open to it if Rafinha was genuinely on the market. We know Barcelona need money, but it doesn't seem at the moment like that's the player that they are going to cash in on. I am not that sure that Rafinha will be going there. Barcelona's financial woes haven't hampered their La Liga campaign, as they currently lead Real Madrid by 12 points with 11 games left. However, they were humbled last night in a Copa del Rey El Clásico, with Real Madrid hammering them 4-0 at the Camp Nou. Given Xavi's side had a 1-0 lead going into the tie, it's a disastrous result. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.